everybody i hope all of you are doing fine a very happy holi to all of you i hope holi was great and uh, you enjoyed playing it thoroughly so today i'm going to talk about something that uh, we've all experienced in our life i mean irrespective of whatever we do and we somehow though it is very important we somehow tend to overlook this skill and it is a soft skill of course so today i'm going to talk about confidence and um, how confidence is a must have skill and how we treat it as a nice to have skill so what is confidence confidence means um, your ability to do something uh that you believe in and naturally if you're confident in doing something your productivity improves so how do we go about improving our confidence so in all our lives we've gone through a phase where we have felt very low now nothing was working out right nothing seemed right nobody seemed right nobody was helping everybody seemed against you but what was actually happening is you were low in confidence yes i have gone through the phase myself after i had gone through the tragedy where i was feeling that everybody was against me i was fighting against myself um nothing was working out i was getting rejected everywhere and uh, then i told myself that if i don't keep believing in myself then nobody else will so i need to get my morale high and isn't this what i have been training all the while and i went back to thinking about all my training sessions and the ses- interactions that i had had and how i had without knowing instill confidence in a lot of people and then i realized that i need to do it myself and it can be done myself and today as i stand here i think i am more confident than i used to be So today I'm going to talk about how to improve upon your confidence so that your output is much better. So the first step is set small goals for yourself, very small ones. I mean something that would seem very very uh unnecessary but uh when you accomplish something your brain gets a feeling when you get rewarded you automatically have more confidence so set small goals like uh, doing your own bed for a certain period of time when you get up in the morning or doing your morning cup of coffee or tea whatever you are having or doing your own breakfast very small goals or maybe um uh, uh doing your uh, doing up your office table uh, setting it up in a particular manner or um, doing that small project that you were thinking of for a long time whatever it should be not something that is very high and it should not be something that is very difficult to accomplish small goals at an interval will give our brain that impression that we are achieving things and that will automatically boost up your confidence next thing to do is with your posture you know i always come back to this but your posture your body language is very good and one very good way of improving on your confidence when you're doing it yourself and somebody is not coaching you is to try and walk faster than you try and walk a little faster than you usually would a slouched way of doing it uh, a slouched way of walking or a slouched way of standing is not always a uh, very healthy for your self so when you're standing straight walk automatically if you try and walk faster what happens is you uh, then your usual gait you always uh, stand up taller you will have your shoulders back your spine is straight is you tend to give a stature that you are a very confident person walking is uh, and i think uh, the reason why i'm standing here and doing this video today i usually sit and do my videos is so that i can speak more confidently today than other days and you can probably see the difference and maybe comment in my comment section so yes walking a little faster than you usually do it improves your 
uh, confidence. And if you are talking over the phone, how do you let the other person know that you are a very confident person? One very good tip that I have for you is try talking to the person walking. When you're walking, try walk, walking up and down and speaking to a person. You will sound more confident. Try it and do let me know. Okay, point number three. Speak slowly. Now, people who speak fast, they often do that are a little uh, confused as to um, people will not listen to them. That is why they talk very fast. But when you talk slowly, when you take it slowly, when you have a constant pace in your voice, you automatically show people that you are in a position of power. And by power, I do not mean hierarchy. I'm, I mean a power within yourself and you are a confident person. So when you talk, talking fast does not show off your communication skills. One, it's a very, very wrong idea that some people have. Talking at a pace which is understandable, talking at a pace that is very, very refined and very, very to the point, slow, steady, without too much up, too many ups and downs, again, is very, very important for your confidence. Next point, dress nicely. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you should be able to go back and look again and say, yes, that's me and I'm looking good today. And the moment, irrespective of your gender, my dear friends, the moment you feel that you're looking good today, automatically you tend to be more confident than the other days. So try and dress a little differently for the next couple of sales and see the difference. You are not all remember the three idiots and the famous thing that started all is well. So what is all is well? See, you see our brain cannot distinguish between a real situation and an imaginary situation. So if you keep telling yourself that everything around you is well, all is good, everything is positive, your brain will start believing that everything is well, everything is positive. And that is when, when you feel positive, your brain is not in a flea mode, it is in a stable mode. And when your brain is in a stable mode, you feel more confident. So keep telling yourself that everything is good with me. Yes, today might be a bad day, but tomorrow I will get over it. And today, by the end of the day, I will try my best what is within my control to understand. So when you're telling yourself all is well, try and identify the obstacle. Identify what is it that is not helping you feel all is well. And then try and remove that. If I remove this obstacle of uh, whatever it is, so suppose... Uh, I don't feel confident because of, let's take a very simple issue, because of my weight problem maybe. I have a weight problem, so I want to be a particular size and I'm not of a particular size. And I feel, uh, I, and I don't feel so much confident because I am not a particular size, which I think is very acceptable by uh, the social standards that I live in. Now, suppose, so being a size this would is the obstacle. And uh, so I should tell myself, Rashpita, if you are a size this, then what happens? So if I tell myself, if I'm a size S, what will happen? Then probably I will remember, okay, then I will have a full length uh, photograph of mine. Maybe I'll uh, be able to wear those dresses, which I would not, not being able. This is a very simple example that I'm putting up. So try and think. Try and identify the obstacle. Try and imagine that if the obstacle had not been there, how would you have felt? And then tell yourself that all is good. Everything is fine with you. And then you will see that you will feel a lot more confident than you do. So you can try. I give you a very simple example of weight. It could be with anything. It could be like meeting somebody. It could be like uh, having that promotion. And so not getting a promotion. So if I get the promotion, what happens? If I get the hike, what happens? If I get that job, what happens? Try and place yourself in that position and do it. And then do and feel the entire thing that, okay, if I, I get this, if I accomplish whatever I'm going to accomplish, wanting to accomplish, then what happens? So your brain will start thinking that, okay, you have again achieved something like 
in the beginning i had set set small goals and your you will automatically start feeling more confident and the moment you start feeling all confident trust me you will always go ahead and fulfill your dream doesn't matter if it is by the standard that is set by the society or not okay next uh try and be a front seater whether it is the office meeting whether it is you're in school or college try and be the front seater try and be that person who asks a num- number of questions who uh, listens carefully try and be that person who's always very curious to know you know these people they always give out a pos- positive impression to people and they stand out to be very very um confident about themselves because when you ask questions you are asking about the credibility of the other person you yourself should be a little knowledgeable so yes gather a lot of knowledge knowledge always gives you power and power gives you confidence so be knowledgeable you should be able to be up to date about what is happening around you so that you can start a conversation then and there or be a part of conversation that is happening anywhere and the moment you can start and amalgamate into a conversation that is happening or start a conversation or be a part a be a active part for conversation you automatically stand out to be very confident amongst your peers amongst your colleagues and even in the house last but not the least eye contact when you speak looking somewhere else it always shows that you are not too confident about what you are saying when you can look at somebody else in the eye and speak it doesn't really matter if you're speaking the truth or not no i'm not asking you to lie but uh, when you can uh, look at somebody else and speak out whatever it gives you a lot of a uh, lot more credibility and not many people can hold eye contact you know it is very difficult it is something that you think that you can do but when you actually try to put it to test it will be it will be a task i'm telling you a lot of people underestimate and a lot of people think that uh, they can uh, really look in the eye and say but actually if you try and do it with a stranger or a person that you hardly know or your supervisor or somebody who is elderly and you're trying to convince them of something that is not working out well with you you will find that it is a little difficult so if you practice all these things you will definitely stand out to be more confident when i was low in the confidence level when i was going down the graph i tried the, these out and it worked for me and that is how i know that uh, if you try it it's going to work for you also uh please tell me if there are some other tips that you would want to share do write them in my comment section and so that you can share your experiences and your tips on how to be more confident because each one of us can learn from one another i think that is what you want thank you so much please keep subscribing keep safe do your work well i know everybody is very busy so bye bye take care